This is an insect's worst nightmare. It may be yours too after watching this. <gasps> this unusual and stomach-churning parasite is a hairworm. It will take over a host and manipulate its behavior. But why? You won't believe the absolutely cruel things a hairworm does. Parasitic hairworms are part of the Nematomorpha group, which attacks insects from the inside out. What a nasty reputation. You can find them in temperate and tropical areas, in wet soil and water from lakes to puddles. They're also called horsehair worms, as people used to believe, you guessed it, that they were horsehair that came to life once it touched water. Their size is impressive. They're usually about 20 centimeters long, but one species grows up to two meters long. After mating, male hair worms die. Females lay 15 million eggs on a stone or stick in the water, then she dies. That's a tough break. Two weeks later, the eggs hatch into larvae. The hair worm larvae patiently wait for other insect larvae, like mosquitoes and midges, to eat them. It's all part of their master plan. <laughs> then the host larva grows into its next life stage, carrying the hair worm along too. When a larger insect, like a cricket, beetle, or spider eats the mosquito, well, the worm has a new home. The hair worm larva penetrates through the insect's gut and into its host's body cavity. The worm grows by absorbing nutrients from its gracious host. A hairworm doesn't have a digestive tract, so it absorbs nutrients through its skin. In its mature stage, the hairworm takes control of the host insect's mind and manipulates the bug to jump into nearby water so it can mate. The worm doesn't waste any time. It makes a hole in the insect's exoskeleton and escapes. Usually, only one hairworm emerges, but up to three are common. Some researchers have recorded a whopping 32 worms coming out of a drowned cricket. That's gotta hurt. On a positive note for our insect friends, they don't always die after the hairworm leaves. Research shows some crickets live many months after passing the parasite. It's not entirely clear how the hairworm controls the insect's mind, but there are some interesting theories. Researchers found that hairworms alter how crickets react to light, perhaps drawing them to luminous sources like shimmering and reflective water. Researchers have also suggested that the insect's proteins change after the worm moves in. This affects the host's nervous system and its behavior. There's still much to learn about what happens and how when the dynamic duo of hairworm and host link up. The hairworm is commonly called a Gordian worm. What does that mean? Well, in 333 BCE, Alexander the Great marched his army into the city of Gordian and found the intricate Gordian knot. It was a cluster of intertwined rope, like the hairworm. Legend said that whoever could untangle the complex knot would rule Asia. After many unsuccessful tries, Alexander the Great cut the knot with his sword and went on to conquer a part of Asia. Smart, but no one likes a cheater. You'll be relieved to know that hairworms don't seek us out as hosts, so you can sleep easy tonight. Meanwhile, there's more mind control going on in the animal kingdom. Check out our video on how voodoo wasps turn caterpillars into zombies. Hijacking mines and drowning their hosts is what hairworms do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.